Oh, what fun you all are. Appreciate it. Well, as you know, I am an artist, but I have a very unusual way that I approach my artwork, and I'd kind of like to tell you about it. About 20 years ago, I was introduced to a Qigong form, which is a martial art. Lots of different martial arts styles, lots of different cultures, but this particular one was developed so that you could move energy in your body, you could move energy in a room, and, and you can move energy so that you feel better and that you're more relaxed and you're more comfortable in no matter what it is that you do. Well, this form had, it was very simple. It had, you might do this, you know, eight times and then you do this eight times. And there were like, I don't know, eight different movements like that, very simple and easy to do and easy to remember. And at the end, there was a prayer position so all this energy that you had moved in your body and was now moving around you uh, and you'd kind of unblocked things and all this stuff, you could just kind of feel it clearing as you sat or stood in this position. I could kind of feel it if you'd almost see like a waterfall could come around like that. And it just felt wonderful. I'd never have felt quite so, so calm. But my hands started moving and they just started moving on their own. And I was kind of like, um, I'm certainly doing this wrong, or so I don't know what this is, but it felt wonderful. And it was not like anything else I'd done in my life before. I'd done a lot of sports and gymnastics and dance and things like that, but none of these movements were like that. And it was kind of a mystery to me. But I kept doing it. And the teacher that taught me this form, I finally got the courage to tell her that this was happening, thinking, of course, she's going to say, oh, stop that. You know, don't do that. But she didn't. She just grinned and said, we'll keep going. We'll just see what happens. Well, I was miserable enough. It was kind of a really tough time in my life. And so anything that would help me, I did. And the more I did it, the better and better that I felt. Well, then my cousin, who was taking uh, some martial arts classes, exactly Kung Fu, if you, which is another form. There's just lots and lots of them. But she invited me to a martial arts tournament. And we were going to keep score, you know, or you know, kind of bring the scorecards to the, the judges. And there I saw people doing the same movements that I'd been doing privately in my home. And all of a sudden, I know now what this is. Well, another friend of mine who's very wise said, you're an artist, right? And I said, yeah, I am. She said, well, what about if you were to take a big sheet of, of paper and um, draw circles on it? And I'm like, OK. So I go home, and I get this big pad of paper and some charcoal. And I start this movement, which by now, I didn't even have to do the first form. I was still just, I was moving, just moving on my own, much like I am right now. And so I grabbed the charcoal on this big sheet of paper, and it just went like this. And now I had big circles. And then I thought, that's fun. I kept kind of doing that, maybe for a year. I just did them in black circles, and I just did them kind of like you doodle in a sketchbook, and I did them all the time. And then I thought, well, OK, that works. How about color? And so you know, I'm kind of like, well, let's push this and see. It's kind of the way creati creativity goes. You, know, you get an idea in your head, and you try it, and all of a sudden, it worked. And so then there were those big circles in different colors. And my hand would just go to the red, if that's what was required for the energy of the piece, if you will. And so they just kept going and going and going. And, and I kept doing more and more and more. And I would include paint sometimes. And I would include, sometimes I'd even do clay. Like you get that uh, polymer clay that's you can make little things. My hands would just move to make these little things. And I'm like, well, they're not useful, but they sure are fun. And so I kept making them. I just kept making things you know, with all this stuff. And so all of a sudden, my artwork became about kind of getting out of my own way, because I really wasn't planning what this was going to look like. I had no idea. 
And I have to tell you, it's terrifying sometimes to not have any idea what something's going to look like. And before you, there it is, just produced. And you know, in spite of myself, I would just basically have to get out of my own way, get out of the judgment, get out of the head, and, and, and appreciate the fun that I was having putting these marks on the paper. Well, then I wondered, can I teach this system to somebody else? So I asked a few brave friends who said, sure, I'll let you teach me this. And so we did. And sure enough, people could learn how to do this with me as well. And so we would you know, play in the energy and, and kind of have some ideas and things. And one of the ideas that we had was to see what would happen if we did this movement in certain colors. And so I put color on us. And we would move in this. Like in blue, you would feel much more calm. In red, you would feel more agitated. And the movements actually were different in the different colors. And that just became really fun. And plus, it made neat shadows on the wall. So then we were shadow dancing and this stuff. Now, mind you, we are not young women. It, we, we, were, we were really out of our you know, kind of comfort zone, for sure. So then I wondered, well, and again, this is the creative process. I wonder what would happen if I projected my own artwork up on the walls. And so I did. I mean, you know, every time it's just kind of a step out of, of you know, my own comfort zone, too. So we projected my artwork up on the walls and moved in that. And it became so fun that I ended up creating um, the piece that I would like to show you today called Art Light which I've done with um, adults with developmental disabilities. They really love playing in it. I've done it with camp kids. I've done it with lots of other adults in retreat situations. So, you know, it just becomes this thing of exploring the mystery of the energy and the mystery of what art really is anyway. I mean, who, who knows? We just keep pushing the edges and pushing the edges of it. So um, while you're sitting there, and I'm going to get ready, um, think about how you feel inside yourself right now. Just kind of go deep in and just take a minute. No judgments, none whatsoever. Just We don't go in often enough to just see how do we feel. And then when we're done, see if you feel any differently. You may not. But if you do, and allow yourself to go deeply into what you're viewing in this, um, this performance, view it with your eyes and view it with your heart. Just allow this to happen. So I will get dressed.